France warns Russia against blackmailing Iran on nuclear talks. France on Monday advised Russia not to use blackmail to pressure global powers into reviving a nuclear agreement with Iran, after Moscow's demand for a guarantee from the United States that sanctions imposed on it over the Ukraine would not harm its commerce with the Islamic Republic. An agreement to revive the 2015 deal that came close after months of indirect discussions between Tehran and Washington seemed to be unraveling amid a possible stumbling block revealed by Russia Saturday. Foreign parties will not be allowed to harm Iran's national interests, according to Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdollahian. An Iranian official who spoke to Reuters on Saturday labeled Russia's action, unconstructive, according to the New York Times. A formal commitment from the United States, according to Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, that Western sanctions enacted since Russia invaded its neighbor would not hamper Moscow's trade, investment, or military technical cooperation with Iran. In a late Sunday interview, a French presidential official said ambassadors try to tackle each problem on its own merits, rather than combining them into a single issue. In return for sanctions relief, the US abandoned the nuclear deal in 2018. Nevertheless, both the Iranian and the US governments have said that there are still fundamental issues that need to be addressed. In order to prevent a nuclear proliferation crisis, Western officials said they are attempting to determine whether Russia's demands merely apply to its obligations to the Iran agreement. As far as they are concerned, anything more than this is problematic. There are still at least two major points of contention between Tehran and Washington, officials tell Reuters, including the amount to which sanctions would be pulled back. Ali Shamkhani, Iran's senior security officer, urged the United States to make political choices on Monday. A group of European diplomats said they've walked out from the negotiations because they feel that the two major parties must now come to an agreement. Earlier this year, Iran's hardline president Ibrahim Raisi called for closer relations with Russia, prompting Russia's anxiety over the effect of Western sanctions. With his great distrust of the United States, Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei has called for better relations with Russia, 